よく来たなその度胸は買ってやる So you had to wait kid Wanna show us what you can do? Try this guy then Welcome to the Crew Motor Fest playlist. This is the Japan、uh, playlist that we are playing right now. Look at all of these amazing cars. We're in the NSX. Look at that S2000. Absolute beast. We just got past an Eclipse. RX7. Is that the R32? Is the R34? Not sure. But some amazing cars. In this video, we are going to be going through the playlist. Of Japan. It's one of the playlists that we got in the beta for the crew motorsport. You gotta play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. No pressure at all. Yeah, don't scare the kid, brother. This was so much fun because, I mean, the Japan classics are so much fun, and it's good to see that they've been added in. To this new game. I hope that this is the first playlist that you guys get to play in your gameplay for the new game because it really gets you into the cars, it gets you into the handling, it gets you to understand how the handling is. It's still an arcade game, so you know, bear that in mind. It's about fun. Throwing it over the grass, as you can see, hitting the walls, even the AI hits the walls. It's so much fun. By the way, do you know what NSX stands for? New Sports Car Experimental. I wasn't asking you, Hina. Mood they set feels just like our own traditional festival back home. Looks like our guest knows how to handle a car. Interesting. Goal was to reach top three. We got P2. Very, very pleased with that. First full race on the crew motor fest. These are the extra XP that we get for things like traction control off, ESP off, ABS off, things like that. You can get extra XP, which I wasn't quite sure on in the first video that I did a voiceover for, which was just the start. I didn't really know if that was going to affect it, but it does. However, In further videos to come, you'll see that there is a slight inconsistency with XP, and I think that's something to do with it being a beta. So, if you notice it that the XP and stuff is different, I think it might be to do with the beta. But now we ride on board top three again. We are in this beautiful skyline. Word in the street is that you shine like a real hasharia with my NSX. Got me interested. Well, then I believe you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. The show continues, kid. But watch out, you're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. 
Can't blame her. The R-34 is a legend. It's a kaiju! The Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep. Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. That path is perfect to get a taste of the Wangan spirit. An absolute myth among Japanese street racers. Yeah, picture the Tokyo Bayshore route, with one thing in mind, never slowing down. Wangan race, you gotta go fast, friend. Well, guys, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This is the skyline we're talking about. Well done. Not bad for a rookie. These dragons are massive. You got a wish to make? Sharp turn. Careful. Shingo missed a turn during a midnight race, supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh, shut up! I remember that. Skyline has once again shown its supremacy. Just made it. P3. Not the easiest thing. We are on the hardest level as well. There we are. We're getting XP again. It does pay to turn the assists off. However, these cars are easier without the assists on but the more you get into the playlist the more you change the style of car the harder it gets this one was particularly difficult for me the rx7 was a bit on the rear wheel happy side but this was such a good event i actually had to do this about three times this was the third attempt we had to win for the whole festival euphoria on hold for a while and get a proper face off let me show you what toge is all about See what you can do. That is your goodbye. Plus, I'll give you some tips on the way. The key to Toge is being able to balance the brake and gas pedal at every turn. One wrong move and you're out. This technique isn't easy, but when you pull it off, you feel like the greatest driver alive, and the coolest.
Okay, you've got talent. This is getting interesting. Tonight your ride is a 3rd gen 2002 Mazda RX-7. Lightweight, compact, a sick rotary engine, and one hell of a look. That's Tanada's car, and she seems pretty confident you can beat me with it. Let's prove her wrong. There's a tunnel coming. It gets tricky at high speed. Make sure you don't lose control. One more time. Wow, not so fast. Pretty badass, but I'm coming back for you. But I'm coming back for you. And now, all the way down. That's the best and also the toughest part, so stay sharp. Somebody's trying to elbow their way through. Just a few more laces and this is it. Come on, show me some real toge driving. old-fashioned street races. How about we show you what modern Japanese street racing looks like? Yeah, boy, we did it. P1, a really difficult race, especially for the first time really getting into the handling of this game. That was really, really hard. This is the drift section so this is included in the Japanese playlist that we have but obviously drifting originates from Japan. I love that they added this to the game. So in this, the objective was to get 20,000 points and I did lower the level on this because I am not a drifter. It's just not something that comes naturally to me, especially on a controller. I did all of this footage on controller. It was quite difficult. I'm sure you guys will be able to pick this up so easily. I'm crashing into the wall. But it was quite difficult for me. Although I did really enjoy that they added the drifting into it. It's part of 
the Japanese car culture is drifting. So it was so much fun to see that they'd added this in. And it does feel pretty good, to be honest. It, it didn't feel particularly easy for me to get the car to drift. Although I would go on a PlayStation, uh, if you use a PlayStation controller, that is Square and X, which is obviously your handbrake and your NOS. That really did help me. So in the end, 31,000 points we managed to get. On the hardest mode, it was 106,000. So, I mean, once this game comes out, if you guys hit that, make sure you let me see that because I found it so hard just to get to 30,000. This was the drag race. This was fun. I hope there's more of this in Motorfest because oh, I so enjoyed this. So. It's a drag race. You've got to warm up your tires to get ready to get heat into them tires to get yourself pumped for this event. You've got to be 11.4 seconds. As you can see, you've got to keep the gauge in the green zone. And then once the lights go out, it goes green, sorry. You've then got to hit that green marker for the gear change. Make sure it's perfect. Use your NOS. Get to the finish line and beat the time. Our first attempt was just a little bit off. Just. But we were perfect on everything else. Run two. Again, we're going to try and keep within the green area of the revs to get everything warmed up green lights and we go making sure that we are gear changing right in that little green area the tiniest green area to the finish line oh we're even slower this time 12.4 second off last run this is you get three attempts at this three runs this is our final run can we beat that time perfect burn that's what she said. Right, we're going. Perfect gear change. Oh, it's good. Perfect. We use the Norse. Oh, we did it. Just 11.3. Just. Look at this absolute beast, Evo. Now, for some reason, we had a smash light to begin with. Not quite sure why. Guessing it's a glitch. Again, beta, but we only had one headlight. We move forward. Two laps. Top three in this absolute beast of an Evo, which I'm definitely going to be purchasing. I do apologise if you can, if you guys can hear a horn quite often. That is how hard I was pressing whilst turning. I'm not really used to using my controller. I use a wheel. I'm a tryhard, and uh, the horn is on the uh, steering little knob thing. And um, when you press it too hard, it activates the horn. So a majority of these videos are going to consist of a lot of horning around. X 
axe, or previously known as concept axe and prototype axe, is the final form of the Lancer Evolution series. It's the most technologically advanced eagle ever. Another JDM gem. You're welcome. Toji would say it's the best of them all. doesn't have a legit reverse gear. It has two forward gears working together to make the wheels rotate in the opposite way. Cool, huh? And that's how you save on weight. Precisely. knows how to throw a party. Don't get too excited. You're just a host in that fantasy. Watch out. Hosts can be dangerous, Mrs. Abernathy. Take that, ref. Nerds, both of you. It's just a few seconds away, guys. It's now or never. This was the Mitsu Lancer Evo X with a special Toji Custom. And you just showed you're totally worthy of that car. P1, let's go. Four seconds. Wow, well, nearly four seconds ahead. Very impressed with that. That car was an absolute beast. We have no headlights left now. Getting the points, getting these parts to add to the cars is really good because we upgraded an S2000, the S2000 that we got in the beginning, and it's an absolute beast now. We'll show you that in a later video. Look at this Supra, absolutely beautiful. This is the last race, got to get the top three. Three laps, crashing into every single car. That's the Evo we've just drove. Absolute skill, can we win? It was a pleasure showing you around my friend. And you definitely fulfilled your end of the bargain. True. Didn't get bored, not even once. Yeah, okay. You kind of did a good job. There's clearly a spot for you in the group whenever you decide to come to Japan for some more action.
like you got yourself a special car for this race. What a ride. Courtesy of the Motorfest, I presume. A pumped-up Toyota Supra A80. A solid choice. Couldn't be more appropriate, actually. The Supra was specifically designed at the time to rival most of our cars. Skyline, NSX, or RX-7. And that customization looks flawless. Pretty cool. But remember, nothing beats the R34. Funny way to pronounce NSX. Shinjuku style, huh? Well, we'll see about that. You gotta admit, it feels just like Tokyo. Well, I guess they did do a pretty good job capturing the vibe of our streets. How come our new buddy didn't get to drive high as MX-5? Fair point! Who knows? Another time, maybe. There's still so much about Japanese racing we didn't touch on. Are we talking, guys, or are we showing our new member who the top dogs are in this pack? Did you get that driver? He said let's punch it! Not quite the victory, but we'll take a P2. We'll grab the XP. We'll grab the dough. We're slowly building up some credits to buy a new car. This is our beast, the frog. I will show you more of that. But right now, here is the car we won after finishing the playlist. <laughs> 